Hello, my beautiful Libras. Let's get started with your reading. Libra in love. What do the romance angels have in store or as advice for Libra in love? Let's see. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Well, that is a great card. I like it. All right. So we're going to do a nine card spread that's going to talk about your mutual energies. And let's get started with what has gone on in the recent past for our beautiful Libra friends. The shuffle. Ooh, we have the world card. I like that. Card of success. Choices. Time to possibly make a decision about where the relationship will go. All right. Like the shuffle. Okay. Let's see what we have. Mutual energy between you and your loved one in the recent past is a page of pentacles that can be, you know, it's making plans. It's, um, and also this card came out with it. So making plans to possibly move, maybe go somewhere else. Uh, for some of you, this may be very related to the recent events um, in terms of the U.S. or the world at large because we have making plans for a better future and then moving towards those plans. So that is beautiful energy. Moving away from troubles, moving someplace better. That can be spiritually and it can be, you know, getting in your automobile or rental truck or whatever and taking off. Okay. Throwing caution to the winds is the current energy. Page of Wands. Taking action. Well, I like making a plan to move forward and then throwing caution to the winds and throwing yourself into it. The Seven of Pentacles is how your person sees it, the situation with you. Investing, you know, moving forward. I like it. This is pretty. I like it pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty, Mommy. <laughs> Let me stroke the cards. All right. The Ace of Coins is how they view you, Libra, and they see you as a person who has great value. They see you as the Ace of Pentacles. You are love already manifested. That really shows that they want to invest in you. They feel very much that you are you know the the prize very much so look at this we have the full card so the full card is all about new beginnings so they feel as though you are a bright spot in their life look at in their heart space they feel a very strong desire to join with you in a traditional relationship up to and including marriage it's all about having beliefs that align with one another your person sees you as a bright and shining star oh and the full card what a gorgeous card look at all the signs and the synchronicities coming together your person views you as their intended uh, partner their soulmate of sorts at least spiritually look at this okay how they plan to move forward in the future with you is to study the situation search for enlightenment um, do the research and they're willing to go out on a limb here the page of swords is pages are about delivering messages but they're also about be new beginnings so this person would be you know, if you're moving, it looks like they're out there really investigating the best places to live and where the job opportunities would be and where the good, the healthy living would be and good medical care and good transportation. So I like that card. This person is thinking very proactively about the relationship and they feel as though a good plan is worth a million bucks. I would agree. All right, let's see what is hidden. And the hidden energy between the two of you is transformation. I will go over all the signs momentarily. Transformation, so you want a rebirth. You want something to change radically and become better. I like it, it's mutual energy. What is the advice of the Tarot? Uh, the advice of the Tarot is to leave where you're at. Ten of Swords, to leave something painful behind. Now it's interesting because this doesn't have to be painful with each other. This can be painful life circumstances also. And the two of you seem to be moving together in this. Your outcome card, the sun card. That is a stunning, beautiful card of great happiness, joy. 
That is your outcome card. That's beautiful. Okay. So now we're going to look here. We have the Page of Pentacles, which is Virgo energy. We have the Six of Swords, which is Aquarius energy, Enlightenment. The Page of Wands is Sagittarius energy. The Seven of Pentacles is Taurus energy. The Ace of Pentacles is all Earth sign energies. The Fool card is Aquarius. The Hierophant is the Taurus energy. Page of Swords is Gemini energy. Scorpio energy. The Ten of Swords is Gemini energy. And the Sun card, Leo energy. Woohoo! Oh, is this not? This is just a beautiful ending for the relationship. It, it just says that both of you will be exceedingly happy by moving forward and leaving some bad situation that happened uh, behind. So the Ten of Swords is an ending, but you know, she's walking very slowly into the future. She sees, she sees the bright light ahead and it gives her the courage to move forward. All right, so let's see what we have here for, why is a Page of Pentacles here? Why is a Page of Pentacles here? Nine of Pentacles, okay. So one of you seems to be doing very, very well in terms of your career, Libra. That is beautiful Virgo energy. Uh, so you may have Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in your chart or the chart of your loved one. Let's see why is the Six of Swords here. So being single, being in your power, and earning money. So that's what it looks like. It looks as though the issue in the recent past has maybe been some sort of job loss or a diminishment of where, you know, how you earn your money. Okay, so it does look like there's stability here. It's coming in as being, uh, by making these moves, you're definitely going to have stability. That Nine of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles is the ability to plan for the future so that you're very comfortable and very secure. The Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here, Libra? Ooh, Ten of Cups. That is a happily ever after card. You may run to Vegas and get married, and I'm teasing. Uh, it just says throwing, throwing caution to the winds and really looking at your great happiness. Ten of Cups is traditionally a marriage card. It is Pisces energy. Uh, the Page of Wands being, you know, having the courage to step in there and say, let's go for it. Let's go for it. And that is your mutual energy. Both of you are investing in this relationship and look at your partner is looking at this saying, yes, love it. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The movement of swords. Somebody's coming in with a very fast, very fast moving, very big a willingness. So your person is very willing to invest in this relationship up to and including change in their life with you. Um, this is a real willingness moving very quickly to tell you to communicate that with you, Libra. The six of wands. Oh, look at this. The six of wands. And the Four of Wands, another marriage card. So the two of you may actually be planning a marriage. Um, I also see the Community card of Victory and Happiness, which is the Six of Wands. That energy is the um, the energy. Four of Wands is the energy of Aries, creating stable, basic you know, framework for the relationship. Very powerful, again, marriage card, marriage card, marriage card, or commitment card, however you'd like to word it. Um, but the Six of Wands says that that is Leo energy. We have Leo energy here that Libra, you would be very happy with this. This looks like it's a very big deal to you, that this is your joy, it is your happiness. So let's look and see how your partner, what's clarifying the Hierophant. This is gorgeous. I love this reading for you. What is clarifying? The Wheel of Fortune. Your person feels lucky to know you. Beautiful. We have the Emperor coming in. The Emperor is a very traditional person. They have a tendency to know exactly what they want. They are the king of the kings. This person knows how to move forward. They know you know, how life works and they have the wisdom to manifest and they have manifested at the highest level, Libra. What is, why do we have the page of swords? We have an, oh, look at this, a hanged man. So you, your person is taking time. Oh, look at this. The sage is a hierophant again. So your person is really looking at the circumstances. And right now, um, I'm getting that both of you would like to have a, a public wedding. 
you know, this looks as though you'd like a big wedding, you'd like the big celebration, and I'm seeing that both of you have the ability to do that. We do have Rona Geddon going on right now, and it looks like your person is really thinking about what a wedding would look like between the two of you. Boy, I just don't ever say that during a relate. I mean, this is looks like you're actually, for those with whom this resonates, you're either planning to move in together, you're, you're, if you're at the new part or the beginning part of a relationship, this relationship is going to go the distance. I'm getting that for you, you know, you're already, you know that this person, this person knows you, and they know you enough to know that you're the one for them. So we have the Spirit of Cups um, clarifying the Death card. So the Spirit of Cups is Scorpio energy. Again, both of you have the Scorpio energy. And the Innocence of Pentacles comes up again. Okay, so I really like this combination. Let me tell you why it's so important. Both of you have been very badly hurt in the past. Both of you have had some sort of crushing event in love that has really made you very clear about what you want, what you need, what you love. I'm sorry my dog's barking in the background. Um, we have a lot of garbage trucks. He's afraid somebody's stealing our garbage. I don't know. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, but the death card indicates that both of you are ready for a bright and shining star to come out of a period of your life that was probably very dark. It could have been a number of years for both of you while you built your wealth, while you built your success pattern. Um, but the Spirit of Cups is a King of Cups. That's a Scorpio King who loves deeply, unconditionally, and forever. And again, the innocence of Pentacles is that that sweet little page over here saying, you know, I want to, this is like a new lamb. Your relationship is new and sweet and innocent and kind and loving. We have the Ten of Swords here. What do, why do we have the Ten of Swords? The Judgment card reversed. Well, what this says is that both of you are still holding on to some old resentments or old hurts, but it is impacting your relationship in a very positive way. Because what I'm seeing here is that you both want the same thing. You both want to avoid the same thing. You both have uh, wounds from the past that you're still healing. Um, and the sun card is here to give you joy and happiness as your outcome no more up in your head beautiful eight of swords reverse this is a release of pain release of pain release of pain coming into your own after a difficult situation no towers for you no sudden shocking moments i love it we have no players for you either so that card really indicates you have a beautiful lineup of cards that really says that both of you are in this relationship to win it. I love this energy for you, Libra. This is um, energy that shows that you both have been through the mill and that you're both going to move forward in a very stable way. And this just has marriage plans written all over it, you know, moving to a different place spiritually or emotionally. Um, you know, you're both still hurting. The one thing I would caution about is that you're both still hurting here from old wounds. So you don't want to be one another's rebound. And it doesn't appear that you will be because we have all of these cards in reverse. So let's look and see what the moon oracle is saying for you. Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. Look at that, new moon in Scorpio. This is working through your fears so that you can invest uh, and very deeply. So I'm gonna end it there. We'll go over to the extended if you'd like to join me. If not, sending you love from Chicago, send some back. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment as that's how the channel can continue to grow. So it would be really great if you could help on that, if you like the content, if it resonates with you. And thanks so much. Bye-bye, Libra.